Kiwi men. They're all blokes, bears and banter. Me? Well, I'm more tights, tinsel and tiaras. But I want to know what I'm missing out on. This is Chris Out of Water. In New Zealand, there's literally nothing cooler than getting out of town, hitting the beach with your board and catching a sick, fat, big-ass wave. Which is why I'm here at Piha, New Zealand's most dangerous beach, to learn how to surf for the very first time. What a perfect, flawless plan. <laughs> Let's have a beach trip, baby! Woo! Luke, is that? Oh, yeah, hey, I'm... Hi, I'm Chris. You're going to teach me how to surf today? Well, yeah, I guess that's the idea. I don't know how to surf at all. Yep. And if I'm being honest, I'm shitting myself a little bit. You might have to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation by the end of the trip. But at least, okay. yeah. even if I don't drown, maybe even just a kiss goodbye. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. I'll oh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> These are my skills, mate. Is that what you say? Hit the sound, dude. Brad as fatty. Oh, sorry. That's fat with a pH. You're quite, quite trim. <laughs> Let's get into it. Why do I go in there? Oh, cut it. It was tiring watching you do it's that. It's tight. Two hours later, and we've done it. I'm dressed. We had to cut the cameras off, and it got, it got really heated between the two of us. Him stuff in my arm. It's like, oh, please, no, I've got to get in the suit. Tell me a little bit about surf culture. With those, the, when you're at the beach, you probably have just this overwhelming urge to kind of like just do that. Yeah. But right. the, the key is to, to fight back that urge and just never, ever do that. Really? Just never do Why? it. Why? What happens if you do this? Uh, you look like a, a gang member, a little bit. Okay. I shouldn't appropriate surf culture like straight people shouldn't appropriate gay culture and be like, yes, queen, yes. That drives me crazy. Yeah. In the same way, I imagine. Me being like, shaka hand ten, and let's ride this fatty all the way to the surf life saving center for a snagger and some tomato sauce and a barbie and a wee bit of a chat, me laddie. And we'll fire up the coal mines and head on down to the main pole where they'll all be dancing. I think that one ran away on me a little bit. Yeah. So I guess next is actually learning the ins and outs of actually surfing. Yeah, that stuff's actually a lot easier. So I'll show you how I do it, and then you can mark my etiquette. Okay, so there's a lot of this. <laughs> what would you give me out of ten for that? I don't know, four or something? I've nailed it! Cue slow motion surfer montage as we walk to the waves. Jesus! Oh! Oh God, it's so cold! <laughs> yeah, this'll do, I reckon. I reckon Wait. you can get away from it. So now what? He's on his knees! He's on his... You beauty! It was a World Cup! That's the America's Cup! What again! So I reckon I drank about two and a half litres of seawater and ate about four and a half cups of sand. But, all things considering, I reckon I look semi-confident out there. And I kept my board, I reckon that's a pass. Chris Parker is a registered surfer. Shaka! I'll stop doing it.